हेलो टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एजेंसी ऑफ द पॉलिनेशन और द एजेंट ऑफ द पॉलिनेशन एज वी नो वेरी वेल दैट पोलन ग्रीन आर एक्चुअली रीचिंग टू द स्टिग्मा फ्रॉम द एंथर बाय वेरियस एजेंसीज एंड दैट एजेंसीज मे बी द बायोटिक एजेंट्स और द ए बायोटिक एजेंट्स इन ए बायोटिक एजेंट the wind is playing a great role in pollination and that's why we are going to study today about the anemophily anemophily is basically pollination by wind it is a abiotic pollination and the pollen grains are here transferred from one flower to another flower through the air and this is called as the anemophily and the flower in which the anemophily occur is called as the anemophilous flower okay now as we know very well that wind pollination is very much common in the angiosperm particularly the wind pollination is very much common in the grasses okay say for i have quoted a example of the maize but anemophily is also quite common in the gymnosperms okay now as the agency for the pollination here is the air and that's why the anemophilous plants are producing large amount of the pollen grains why because in this type of pollination a large amount of the pollen grains are lost before they reach their destination so to compensate this loss large amount of the pollen grains are produced okay now there are some special features of the pollen grains right in the flowers which are actually undergoing the process of the wind pollination here the pollen grains are small why because the pollen grains are carried by the air currents so they not they uh, they must not be too much big in size they must be small they must be light in weight they must be dry means they must be non sticky the stigma must be large it must be hairy or feathery or it may be brushy or it may be mucilaginous sticky so that the stigma can trap the air bond pollen grains okay now anemophilous flowers are not attractive why because here the agency is the air for the pollination so here the flowers don't have to attract the insect for the purpose of the pollination that's why the flowers are small right and they are very much uh, less attractive they are not attractive they are not colorful they are neither attractive nor they are having any sort of fragrance because they don't have to attract the insects and also they don't have nectar glands why because the insects are not coming to them to suck the nectar and that's why they are not producing the nectar because they don't have the nectar glands okay now anemophilous flowers are generally unisexual why because if the flower was bisexual then self pollination may have been happened okay but here the agency is the wind and that's why anemophilous flowers are generally seen that they are unisexual okay now in wind pollinated flowers all the wind pollinated flowers have a single ovule they have a single ovule and uh, in each ovary and numerous flowers are packed into an inflorescence again i am repeating that wind pollinated flowers generally have a single ovule inside each ovary and the numerous flowers are packed into an inflorescence the best example is the corn cob of the maize you can see that various flowers are there okay and they are forming a compact inflorescence now in this type of pollination that is the wind pollination maximum loss of the pollen grains occur and also the wind pollination is not a directional process it is a purely non directional process because wherever the wind blows the pollen grains will move so it is not a directional process it's a non directional process and also as i have said in the beginning that the wind pollination not only occur in the case of the angiosperms but it also occurs in the case of the gymnosperms so in the case of the gymnosperms particularly i will be quoting a example of the pinus okay in pinus that is a enormous amount of the pollen grains are released in the air so the yellow clouds are formed in the sky during the wind pollination again i am repeating yellow clouds are formed in the sky during the wind pollination in the case of the pinus 
and that cloud of the yellow cloud of the pollen grains is called as the sulfur shower. Now, uh, normally the anemophily is found in the plants which are which are found uh, outside the ground. Okay, but there are few plants which are aquatic. They are found in the water body, but then also they are not showing the hydrophily. Basically, the hydrophytic plant shows hydrophily, but they are showing the anemophily, especially the myliophyllum and the potemogeton plants. Both the plants are aquatic, but they are instead of uh, showing the uh, hydrophily, they are showing the anemophily. Okay, now one more thing you have seen the corn cob of the maize. In corn cob, you see certain hair like structures, a bunch of hair like structure at one end of the corn cob, right? And that hair like structures are called as the tessels, which is the special feature of the corn cob. So basically, that tessels are the stigmas and the styles. They are the stigmas and the styles which wave in the wind so that they can trap the pollen grains found in the air, okay? Now, Wind pollination can carry pollen grains up to 1300 kilometers. Some studies say that the pollen grains in wind pollination can be carried up to 1300 kilometers. Okay. Now, here are some examples in which anemophily is common. Grasses, as we know very well, very common example, right? It is the grass family is the important uh, family of the angiosperm. So, in grasses, the wind pollination generally occur. Date palm and papaya. They are the dioecious plants. In them, definitely the unisexual flowers are there. So the wind pollination will occur. Likewise, in bamboo also, bamboo, coconut, sugarcane, maize, gymnosperm, mulberry, typha. In all these plants, what happens? That is the wind pollination occur. Okay. So, student, this video was based on the anemophily. That is how do the pollination occur by the agency of the wind. Uh, in the coming uh, videos, we will be talking about the various other agencies of the pollination. So, keep watching. Thanks a lot. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.